decided to do a new video explaining the hydraulic drives on my tanks. Uh, I've changed a few things since the last video on, that explained the hydraulic drives. Um, I decided that the new tank would be a good way to show everything. The top's not on it yet, and it's all pretty open and easy to see. Start out with the motors. Motors are in the front of the tank. The motors are a 19 cubic inch dynamic hydraulic motor. Um, I got them from the surplus center online. I'll post a part number on the video. They're connected to the sprockets on the outside through a Lovejoy. The Lovejoy is a L150 series, and the pump's got a one inch shaft on it, and then the, ax the axle shaft for the sprocket is an inch and a half shaft, and then just a couple of flange bearings to help keep everything lined up and supported. And keep it from rubbing on everything as it spins. Then if we follow the hydraulic lines back to the pump, we just come around the left side of the vehicle. The lines come back past the engine. The engine's a 22 horsepower Predator engine from Harbor Freight. Hydraulic lines come around the back side to the tandem pump. Pumps are made by Hydra Gear. As you can see, they're tandem. This is the part number for the Hydra Gear pumps. The flow for the pumps, so whichever line. Either line can be a return or a to the motor, and that's changed by this plate, and that's what reverses or drives the motors forwards or back. That plate's controlled by a push-pull cable, runs down around the engine. And comes up to a simple control valve. These control valves are just two direction, back and forward. Uh, they're made by Buyer's Product. Uh, the part number is a BP206330. And they're descriptive as a remote valve control. There's one control per track, so each pump has a controller. Here's the controller for the left side. Just kind of follows the hydraulic lines. Over to this bracket. It's just it's pinched right there with a U-bolt to keep the cable from flexing. And it goes to our front pump and connects to the plate that changes the flow path of the hydraulic fluid. So that's forward. And this would be reverse. Over here is our hydraulic reservoir. It's a 10 gallon reservoir. The inlet side, right down here on the bottom of the tank, comes up to our hydraulic filter. Then we got a 3 quarter inch ball valve so we can shut the tank in so when we disconnect our hydraulic lines that we don't drain the whole tank. 
and it comes to the the rear pump in the tandem setup and it feeds both pumps and then our return line comes out of the side of the front pump right now I've got it just in a loop eventually it'll be hooked up to a hydraulic cooler and it comes into the top of the reservoir and we got another ball valve so we can again shut the tank in so we don't have to drain the whole tank to undo the hydraulic lines and pull the tank or the pumps and that's pretty much it for the hydraulic system it's pretty simple pretty straightforward Just two levers down is forward up is backwards you can run the tracks independent of one another so right here would be doing a turn one track going forward and one track going back and that's pretty much it thanks for watching